Hello everybody and welcome back. In one of our earlier videos related to deferred tax, we have received a comment asking us that please I require more videos related to DTL. So this video is being prepared in response to this comment. Also in case if you want any other video to be prepared, please put up the topic, please put up your doubt, concern in the comment section. I'll get back to you with the video. Okay. Now if we go ahead. I will try to explain it with a very practical example related to IFRS and NDS. Okay, what is DTL and how it is prepared and why it is prepared. Okay, and uh, do not worry, we will also use a quick simple journal entry to simplify the entire concept. So, let's begin. Now, if we talk about deferred tax, it is covered under IAS International Accounting Standard 12 and INDAS. Okay, now if we talk about this deferred tax liability, when does it arise? What happens? For example, if we talk about accounting and taxation. Okay, so accounting has different rules, whereas taxation has different rules. We are applying in the IFRS, IF, wherein for taxation we have to apply Income Tax Act 1961 on the relevant standard of that country. Okay, if we talk about India, and if we compare with India, it's Income Tax Act 1961. Now the rules provisions are different from accounting and taxation. Now what happens whenever you calculate any taxation, okay, uh, on the books. So you would say book profits. And this is known as tax base. The book profits and tax base might differ. When you calculate using different different rules and regulations, okay, it might differ. Now, for example, the book profits are of 200,000, okay, uh, dollar. For example, here the tax base is, for example, 150,000 dollar. Example, the rate of tax is 30% and at the rate 30%, okay. So your tax amount will be, if I calculate this, your tax amount will be $60,000 and it will be $45,000. Okay, please understand. Very important that this is known as tax charge. Okay, this is the amount that is required to be paid, to be paid. To be paid to authority, okay, government authority, or you can say to the income tax department, okay, to be paid to the department, income tax department, okay. Uh, this is the final outflow, outflow, or you can say this is your current tax liability, okay. Now, whatever you record in your books, this is known as tax expense. This is known as tax expense. Different different terms are used. This is known as tax expense. This is the amount that is recorded in your statement of PL and OCI. Okay, this is the amount that is shown in your statement of PL and OCI. In case if it is related to OCI, then it is shown under the OCI part. Whereas if it is related to PL, then it is shown under PL part. Okay. Now, what happens? Since the book profits are more in accounting, therefore you have created more tax expenses. Where if we talk about taxation, it is lesser. So whenever we have higher book profits as compared to taxation, this means there is lesser tax outflow in the current year. Okay, but this is due to temporary difference. It is not a permanent difference. Instead, it is just a temporary reason, timing reason. Okay. And though something is disallowed in the current year, it's not taxable in the current year. But in the upcoming year, it will become taxable. And therefore, it will attract future tax obligation. Since it will attract future tax obligation, we are required to create the difference as deferred tax liability. That is difference amount is of of. $15,000. Okay. So this means simply your journal entry in your books of account will be 
आई थिंक जर्नल हेल्प्स अ लॉट इन क्लियरिंग द एंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट ओके इफ यू टॉक अबाउट जर्नल एंट्री योर जर्नल एंट्री विल बी टैक्स एक्सपेंस डेबिट ओके इट इज विल कम टू नो टू करंट टैक्स लाइबिलिटी योर करंट टैक्स लाइबिलिटी इज फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड दिस इज दैक्स चार्ज वेर एज टू डेफर टैक्स लाइबिलिटी दिस इज करंट टैक्स लाइबिलिटी एंड दिस इज डेफर टैक्स लाइबिलिटी लेट मी राइट इट डाउन सो दैट इट डज नॉट क्रिएट एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन डेफर टैक्स liability okay that is 15000 and your tax expenses will be debited by 60000 okay this is recorded in books this will be shown in your statement of pl and oci whereas this will be shown in your current tax liability in your balance sheet and this will be also shown in your balance sheet okay we'll take a quick example when does it arrive why does it arrive why are we required to book it for example if we talk about accounting okay and taxation again we'll quickly try to compare it now what happens uh for example uh fair valuation model company entity is following fair valuation model they are required to revalue their ppe for example on revaluation they there is a gain of for example 1 lakh 100000 dollar okay so under your oci statement you will show gain from revaluation okay for example of ppe that is 100000 dollar okay now what happens taxation says this no it will be taxable only and only when you realize it actually okay taxation says that it will be taxable in the year of actual gain realization this means taxation says that i do not charge tax on the notional basis i do not charge any taxes on the notional basis wherein you have to record notional gains as per the ifrs okay so 1 lakh becomes taxable in the current year as per accounting but for the taxation purpose it is not but it is not a permanent difference instead it is a timing difference and in the upcoming year the this 1 lakh on the actual realization will become taxable so here there is a difference and the difference is temporary since there is a temporary difference since there is a temporary difference difference we have to create a deferred tax liability temporary difference it will become taxable in future okay and therefore we are required to create a deferred tax liability of 1 lakh into 30% okay that is a dollar 30000 simple we are required to create defer tax liability of 30000 okay now one more point that this 30000 will be deducted from oci if it is related to oci item for example the tax amount dtl or any normal tax amount current tax amount if it is related to pl item then it will be deducted under pl as we know statement of pl and oci has two sections okay so if the dtl is related to oci item then it will be deducted from oci for example dtl 30000 okay it will be deducted from this and then 70000 will be shown net in books 
ओके दिस इज दी अमाउंट शोन इन बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट इन बुक्स वेर एज दिस इज दी अमाउंट दैट विल बी टैक्सेबल तो आई थिंक रिवेल्युएशन गेन इज दी बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल वेर वी यू आर ऑलवेज रिक्वायर टू क्रिएट डेफोर टैक्स लाइबिलिटी एंड वाई वी आर क्रिएटिंग बिकॉज एज पर अकाउंट यू हैव टू चार्ज taxation on the notional gains wherein taxation does not charge any tax uh, any tax okay on the notional basis it only charges taxation only on the actual and realized and real gains okay actual gains so this is perfect example for for tax liability i hope this helps you a lot i hope this uh, solves your entire queries do not forget to put up a comment in case if you want any video please bring us suggestions please put up more questions we'll make more videos for you thank you so much do not forget to like share subscribe and download our app the app description and the link is given in the pinned comment and the description box thank you so much see you in the next videos till then take care be safe stay tuned